My name's Supremo Pete. Beep beep, I'm a Jeep. And this is Minecraft Weekly. And first up, we have the Texture Pack Spotlight. This was linked to me by a long time subscriber of the show, Fraser Guy. So shout out to him. And this is the Isabella Texture Pack. So let's get cracking. So as you can see here, we're inside. The wooden floor is a bit... I don't know if I like the wood. The wood sort of... It looks like metal, but it's wood. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I like the windows. I mean, glass should be like this in, in normal Minecraft. And... I don't know too much about the theme of this texture pack, what it's trying to do, because it didn't really say in the forum thread, but it's it's pretty cool anyway. I just don't really like the wooden planks much. But here we have the crafting bench and the furnace, and you see there's a bit of a modified UI in there, so that's pretty cool. You can see the health bar at the bottom, that's a bit modified. So it's always good to see little modifications. So we're just going to go and have a look at the outside world. Mobs have been changed in this, by the way. So you notice the paintings hadn't been changed. And look at the leaf textures. That is pretty awesome. I like that. So just going to walk out into the, the world and see if we can find a mob to show you. So this is pretty much what Minecraft looks like in the normal world. Here's a sheep. So I can show you a sheep. And you can see it's been edited a bit, and that's pretty cool. So yeah, you can see some reads there. That's been changed. So all in all, that's the Isabella Texture Pack, and links in the description to download it. So go and check it out if you like what you see. Moving on to our second feature, it's the Skin Spotlight, and this week we have Lava Man. I guess it's not a very good idea to go in water. <laughs> But yeah, this is the Lava Man skin, as found on the skin decks, links in the description to that. And it's pretty pretty cool, pretty mental, and I quite like this skin, so yeah. You can see everything on the screen you need to see, to see what it looks like, so check the link out, download, thumbs it up on the skin decks, and use it if you like this skin. Moving on yet again, we have the Creation Spotlight. This week we've got the Big Luxury Villa by Wuta. And I'm a bit concerned these leaves might decay, but hopefully they won't. So let's go inside and immediately see a nice little seating area with bookcases. You can go downstairs, but we're going to go up for now. So this is the first floor. Some nice decoration everywhere here. This is a little... I don't know what that is. Maybe toilet? I don't know. This is a little storage room. That's pretty cool. Nothing in those. It's moving on in here. And there's a couple of paintings in the chest. But this is a nice little area. A double bedroom. So this is like sort of the master bedroom. Uh, it's got a balcony. There's some chests. And as you can see out on the balcony. Oh look at this. This is pretty damn nice. This is really really nice detail here. I'm really liking the interior design skills of Mr. Woot R. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. So in here, this is... Oh, shower. That's pretty cool. I like that. And, yep, we've seen all in here. So in here, we've got a ladder. We can go up again. And some more seating, nice little bedroom there, little balcony again, you can just see out into the the land. More stairs that go up, I didn't realise it was this big, <laughs> little storage room. And here's the other balcony, you can see out into the ocean, that's a pretty good view, I like this. I really like this villa. I, I didn't really expect this much attention to detail in the inside. And you can see that the loft or attic. It's got some storage. It's pretty cool. 
So we can just go back downstairs now. But this, this is pretty awesome. I mean, the attention to detail inside is pretty sweet. And it really, really has that modern villa feel with the iron blocks. I really, really like this. So just going to go and see what's at the bottom here. So you can keep on going down. Here we go. And in here we don't have much. Just some pillars. Area to do something in the basement if you want. It's pretty cool. And just going back upstairs again. Here we are, I didn't show you this bit, and there's a dining area, nice little kitchen, it's pretty awesome, and yeah, that is pretty much it, but this is one of the, I really love this, this is awesome. You must have taken a long time to build this, but anyway, here it is, the big luxury villa by Wuta, and this is amazing. Now moving on to the Minecraft news, yeah. So the screenshot you can see here is from Jeb's Twitter feed and it's supposed to be a preview of a village coming in 1.8. You can't really see much, you might have to make the screen bigger, but in you can see sort of the building shape of some structure of some kind, but that's about it. As well this week we have Minecon, tickets have gone on sale, and as you can see in the image, 18th to 9th of November in Las Vegas, $99 tickets. And they're going to stay $99 until October. So get your tickets now if you're going. I wish I was going, but I'm poor. So unfortunately, no Minecraft Weekly special from Minecon. But maybe another year, hopefully. <laughs> And finally this week we have the channel spotlight. This week's channel is the Syndicate Project. Or Syndicate as many call him. And he does a lot of other videos like Black Ops and stuff. But Minecraft wise he does a Let's Play. Also does some adventure maps and cool stuff like that. So go and check him out. Subscribe, watch his Minecraft stuff if you like. And that is it for this week. So... 28 episodes now, going strong, and how many more will there be? I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, and check out my other videos from this week. I've got a TF2, some Hon, a Minecraft video, some other cool stuff. So go and check them out, and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Goodbye.